Hey guys, bringing you another key replacement video today. I have an HP Pavilion computer here showing you how to take off one of these normal size keys. Uh, if you want to know how to take off a larger key, check the video link in the description. I'll have a video there on how to do one of the larger keys because they obviously are going to look a little, uh, they're going to have different stuff going on under there. Uh, all you're going to need is a small flathead screwdriver uh, to take this off and I'll show you how to do it now. So I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to put it underneath my key cap, which is the top part. But I'm going to try to get it on top of the retainer clip, which is underneath here. And the idea is that I hold down the retainer clip with my screwdriver so that when I rip off the cap, I'm not bending and breaking the clip underneath. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that now and I'll show you what it looks like w when I take the cap off. Okay, so that came off relatively easily. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down this black clip. And as you can see, it's kind of thin. And that's what I was hoping to not break um, when I took off your cap. So this is the way most uh, keys are, are laid out. There's a rubber component in the middle that bounces up, that pushes the key cap back up after it's been pressed. You have the plastic retainer clip. It's usually made up in, in two parts. The inside part sits inside the outside part and it's held in by two plastic pins on either side. And you usually have four metal pins toward the corners. In some models, you'll have uh, two near some corners and then one in the middle. But in this one, we, we have the standard four near the edges. So I'm gonna get this up by uh, locating the metal pins closest to the edge, which are on top. I'm gonna push up with my thumbnail on the clip while I slowly try to pry out the plastic from under those metal bits. And this is where you're probably gonna break it if you do. This is the touchiest part because that plastic is very thin. I'll show you what it looks like when I get it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and push up. Okay, so that came up, again, relatively easily. I'm gonna put that there so you can see it. Okay, now I don't know how well you can see that or not, but there's little plastic parts that come out here and here. So that's what I'm trying not to break as I pry that up. They're very, very thin. And if you don't pry those up out from under the metal, you can easily snap them off and then it's not secure. So that's what we're trying to not break. So now to get this back in, we're gonna go in reverse. Instead of putting the top or instead of taking the top out first, I'm gonna put the bottom in first. So place that in there. On the bottom first, get the bottom all snug up underneath its two metal pins. And then once you get the bottom in place and the whole thing looks centered, I should be able to just push in on the corners and snap it back into place. Oops. Just like that. And then you bring your cap over, you lay it on top. Again, get it centered as much as you can and then press and that snaps back in. So that's how you would fix a small key on an HP Pavilion. If you wanted an example of a larger key, enter space shift. So look below in the description, there'll be a link for a video on how to do the larger keys. Uh, if you have any other questions or any concerns, leave a comment. I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.